what's going on Borough fans, it's Joe from Borough Fan TV and um, yeah, I know the hat. Before I get into the Christmas spirit of things with me being recording this on Christmas Eve, trust me, it suits a lot better than Tony Pulis' football caps, baseball caps, is all I can say. Anyway, so this is going to be the preview video for our upcoming game on Boxing Day, Wednesday the 26th of December with a 3 o'clock kickoff as the Borough take on Sheffield Wednesday in the Scarbet Championship at the Riverside Stadium. Now, what can I say? Going back from Reading, for about the 1,200 of our fans that made the trip down to Reading, it was definitely worth it. You know, uh, we got the win after long over, got a long overdue win after, you know, seems like an eternity, really, you know. Um, Joe George Friend getting the winner, again, which it, uh, it wasn't, convi it wasn't, wasn't a convincing win by any means, but three points, that's all that matters, Borough fans, isn't it? You know, um, coming in out of that game, we're, good, we're now going to this game with good confidence, you know. There was a slight concern, you know, from the Reading game, the fact that uh, Ryan shot and went off injured um, going um, and in the first half. But, you know, um, according to the team news we just received um, earlier on as I'm recording this, uh, Renee reports saying it's not too serious, but um, there's a little bit of doubt if Ryan shot and will be in the squad for the game on Boxing Day. Um, the other bit of news coming out today is Stuart Downing. Apparently, he missed that. He wasn't in the squad for the game against Reading because, according to Tony Pulis, he was rested. Um, to conserve some energy a bit. So they're saying he will will be back in the team for uh, for the game on Boxing Day. So hopefully, Stuart will slot back in there. So apart from that, we've got a good squad. What to choose from? Um, going at this game, do you know does a Samba longer start again up front or he, there's a bit of controversy versus, you know, like I said, after he went off against against Reading, which caused a lot of scrutiny among the Borough fans. Because you know he was he was he did play did play decent in the first half, he just he didn't get enough service. But then as soon as he went off, um we scored. At the end of the day, you know, like I always said, it's Tony's team for him to choose. You can see what he does on Boxing Day. Um, now we're going to the opposition view. Um, Sheffield Wednesday now. Um, they're 17th in the championship as it stands at the moment. Um, in the last last six games, they won twice, drawn twice, and they lost twice. And drawn once. Sorry, me. I'm just getting the Christmas mode already. Um, obviously, they've they had a bit of a lack of... Days ago, farm, you know, since we beat beat them 2-1 back at Hillsborough, back in October. And then the bad form that we got after that ultimately cost their previous manager, Josh Lukai, his job. You know, it's been, looks like it's going to be set in stone in a minute that Steve Bruce will be coming in as his replacement. But I don't think he'll be in there, in there for the time for the game on Boxing Day. I think um, uh, the current caretaker boss, Lee Bullen, is uh, going to be, still going to be in caretaker charge by the time... Yeah, the the owls come to Riverside on Boxing Day, um, so don't think we'll be seeing Steve Bruce at all at the Riverside on Boxing Day. To be honest, Borough fans. Um, now, the squad news going into their game. Um, I've seen on their website earlier that uh, the midfield playmaker maestro Barry Bannon is due to be back in the squad after he's served a two-match suspension, so he's, he'd be slotted back into the fold. Um, and then you've got other players that are going to be da dangerous to the Borough side, like Marco Matthias on the ring, and of course our former player, Adam Reach, who scored a blister of a goals, goal um, the last time we played him at Hillsborough and games prior. So he, so he's going to be a main threat. And also the two main strikers you've got to watch out for if they're in the squad are Stephen Fletcher and Lucas Zhao, who co come back into the fold in recent games after Josh Lukai got the boot. Um but obviously, uh, the last game, they beat Preston 1-0 at home. And that was the fact that um, before that game, two days before that game, that's when Josh Lukai got the boot. And Lee Bullen slotted back in for his second term as caretaker manager. And he's managed to get them sorted in time for Steve Bruce to arrive, by the looks of things. But anyway, going into the Boxing Day fans, what do you, how do you feel about this? Will the fans turn up on Boxing Day? Hopefully we will. We usually do get a good crowd on Boxing Day, but after the last couple of bits we had at home, it depends really. 
I mean, we're due a good crowd and we're due a home win for a very long, for a very long time after Wigan, since Wigan, in fact. Um, we're long overdue a home win. So, do you think it'll happen on Boxing Day, Borough fans? We'll have to wait and see. Um, anyway, guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Borough Fan TV. Our social media links will be in the link below. If you haven't, if you missed the Reading interviews and the final whistle, the show that I'm currently hosting. From the Reading games, they'll be in the description below, so you can go ahead and watch them. Until then, Borough fans, have a safe Christmas, and I'll see you guys on Boxing Day. Up the Borough!